Well, you could have cash in your attic, you could have cash in your basement, or maybe even hiding in the back closet. I'd like to live in that house. It might look like a vintage toy though right now. After a visit with America's Toy Scout, you could very well be holding that stack of cash. That's right, Joel McGee is in Omaha now through right. Saturday. He's here to give us a few ideas nice about uh, all these toys and and what you might have, the uh -huh. treasure you might have in your home, right? Cool to see I'm excited these, to talk Joel. about this. Tonka, it is. Tonka was my favorite growing yeah, up. And Tonka, they, they're right here in the Midwest, uh, Minnesota, and uh, everybody, it's, it's a classic toy. It's been around for 60 years, and it's not going anywhere. It's going to be here forever. No, they're great. Mm -hmm. So what brings, what brings you to Omaha? What I'm here for is I want people to dig out their attics and closets, and we want to see those old toys. And what I do personally is I uh, fix them up and get them back out to collectors, and uh, you know, I started myself at a Sioux City at a flea market, and I saw my GI Joe lunchbox. So that started me in uh, my quest for toys. <laughs> wow! And that was some time ago. I know you've yeah, been traveling, years ago. visiting with folks for for years. The most popular vintage toys are. How do you fill in that blank? Well, we're going to break that down into four areas. Okay. GI Joe, extremely popular. Um, mm -hmm. Star Wars, extremely popular. Of course, the new movies are coming out this fall, so mm -hmm. that's really bringing a, a big interest in the old Star Wars so, toys. Are they more valuable in the package? They are. They are, and uh, everybody says, well, how do you still see them in the package? Uh, first of all, we love to buy them loose, so don't, they don't have to be in the package, but a lot of parents bought one to play with and one to put away, mm -hmm. and that seems to be the overriding... Uh, Give us an idea of a value on a piece like this. This one right here is from the original Star Wars movie, um, the very first one that came out, and it's worth right around $200 because of the package condition and the fact that it's in the package. What year was that? 77? 1978. 78. They came out right, Close, right, uh, right after you that. You said G.I. Joe, yes. Star Wars, but then you had two other categories you well, wanted to talk about. we cannot forget Barbie, uh -huh. and she's sitting right over here at the end. Look at that. And and, uh, she's the queen of all dolls, mm -hmm. and uh, of course, there's there's literally thousands of dolls that uh, that we buy from people. But Barbie just happens to be one of the most popular ones. Mm -hmm. And uh, the next, actually, we'll call it two robots and monsters. So these two. Yes, uh, robots are just one of those things where they're just cool when you see them. I mean. Uh, it actually kind of scares kids sometimes when they see a robot walking because they're thinking that it just came from outer space like I did yeah, when tell, I was a kid. <laughs> tell us about this robot. It's, it's got it's a wind That one's from the 1950s, yes. And uh, you can wind her up. Sometimes he's a little fickle, but there he goes. And uh, when they brought out the movie Forbidden Planet, yeah. um, that brought out a huge robot craze. And uh, literally there's thousands of different robots, but they're all cool. Mm -hmm. This one was made in Germany. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yep. and uh, Thank you, Mike. Japan was very popular too. Uh huh. Um, and then what's in the box? This is a monster model. This was the Forgotten Prisoner, but Aurora back in the '60s there was a huge monster craze, and every kind of monster you could imagine came back to life. They all were pretty much produced in the '30s. And then the 60s, they came back and made Dracula and, and uh, Frankenstein and the whole works. My five-year-old's really getting into Hot Wheels now. Hot Wheels are timeless. You know, this one happens to be from 1968, but Hot Wheels are one of those wow. toys that kids today can relate mm -hmm. just as much to them as their parents did. So it's kind of one of those crossover toys mm -hmm. where, you know, the kids and dad actually can be on the same page uh, on something. So. What's this worth? Still in the package? That think? one's still in the package is worth right around $85. Mm -hmm. yeah. If it was your story, and I think a lot of people watching might be in the same boat, where it's about the lunchbox. Yes. They yes. held on to it, maybe for <laughs> sentimental reasons, and now they think, why do I still have that thing? But they might be able to get some money for it. Yes, and this what is themes? a Planet of the Apes mm -hmm. lunchbox. You and, uh, you know, they really did a smart thing back in the day. They made character lunchboxes for their favorite TV shows and mm -hmm. such, and so you had to bring your favorite show or movie with you. And they're textured. Yeah, yeah they they uh, they raised the lip on these to kind of give them a, a more realistic look. Mm -hmm. And uh, mine was GI Joe. Uh huh. Um, they were also good things to uh, keep the other kids away if they got too close. You just give them a little <laughs> whack. Yeah, yeah, right. I had a Star Wars one box. actually. How much are, are different? Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it depends on the subject on the box. The but. the space ones are the most expensive, which would include Star Trek um, and Land of the Giants was another real popular one for space ones. But Planet of the Apes is right there. This one's mm -hmm. worth in this condition right around. Uh, 80 to 100 dollars. Well, nice. What's the most intriguing find that you've come across? Uh, it actually was a Star Wars collection that a gentleman was going to throw away. An he entire toss collection? It. He was going to toss a whole collection that were all unused in the packages. In the packages? Yes. And it's kind of funny because he, he said, I want you to take a look at these, but I didn't have time. Yeah. And 
something said to me I better call him back because there was just something weird about it. I called him back and he says, you better come if you want him because they're in garbage bags right now. And the garbage oh, my goodness. <laughs> no kidding. I ended up giving him $5,000 for those no Star Wars kidding. figures. No kidding. Wasn't he glad he made that call? Oh, and I, me too. And they were literally in the black garbage uh -huh. bags sitting no there kidding. ready to what go. How many were there? There was about uh, there was about two hundred of them. Well, no we want to make sure our viewers yeah. know whether it's garbage bags full of Star Wars memorabilia, yes. lunch boxes, <laughs> Barbies, whatever you have at home. You'll be in Omaha for a few days here, so yes. we're looking at some information now through Saturday. We're You'll through be at the Plaza there, Seventy Second Street. Yep. What should our viewers do when they when they come in? What should they be prepared for? I guess. First of all, don't worry about cleaning them up or mm -hmm. fixing them. Mm -hmm. Any condition is fine. We can always use toy parts. Of course, we've shown some toys in the packages. That's that's nice, but we know that most of them are not. So just bring them in. Um, what, there's no charge for admission, no charge for parking. And what we'll do is make you cash offer right on the spot. And uh, we we love toys from the Midwest. Is it just toys? What about uh, baseball cards, trading cards? Actually, that's true too. Trading comics. cards, baseball cards, comics. comics. Of course, we have Spider-Man on display mm -hmm. here. So comic bring books are very popular. And uh, even if it's odd and unusual, I tell people to bring it. It's amazing how many unusual things that doesn't even have to be a toy sometimes. I'm kind of one of those guys, if I see something odd, you know, I might uh, buy it for I'd my... Snatch it yeah. Well, it's really <laughs> great to have you in Omaha, and I hope yeah. you find some good things Well, thank you. It's, it's always nice to be here. Yeah. They call you the Toy Scout. I love it. Yes. AmericasToyScout.com. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thanks for coming in. Good Thanks to have a lot you for here. Thank you.